recently visited my alma mater and collected data on a local slot machine. From a behavioral perspective, a slot machine uses a variable ratio schedule of reinforcement to increase the probability of a gambler's behavior. Therefore, I invested $20 into a slot machine and took data on every single lever pull. And I did so until I ran out of money to get as many trials as possible. To start, each lever pull cost $1. I was able to pull the lever for a total frequency of 57. Now, out of those 57 lever pulls, reinforcement was delivered 11 times. To calculate the average reinforcement ratio, I counted the number of pulls until a reinforcer was delivered for all instances. After that, I took each number, added them up, and divided that by the total to get my average across lever pulls. My data revealed that the slot machine granted reinforcement after an average of five lever pulls, making it a VR5 schedule. Wait, there's more, because each time reinforcement was delivered, it varied amongst four different categories. The machine either gave you $1, $3, $5, or $9, meaning that each of these reinforcers is also on its own variable ratio reinforcement schedule. Out of the 11 times I won, five of those instances were $1, and out of the 57 lever pulls, just one instance was the $9 reinforcer. This would suggest that more lever pulls are needed to win the higher awards, which is why it's hard to win money gambling over the long term. The reinforcement schedule is designed in a way to keep you playing while at the same time keep you losing. And just like that, 20 bucks, gone. My name is Troy, everyone. If you liked today's video, please smash that like button, subscribe to help the channel, and turn on notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss a video.